Hello Libra, welcome to Sidekick Tarot. I'm Ryan, and thank you for being here. This is going to be a general reading for who you may be dealing with and what they're up to. Or if you're interested in more tarot readings after this, go ahead and check out my wife's channel, at val 33 tarot which is a review as well. Thank you. I'll be starting by pulling their current or overall energy. And then we'll be going into clarifiers. Okay, I'll get the cards out first, and then I'll begin. Hm. Okay. Fire, 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 fire. <laughs> Lots of fire, jeez. What is that song? Um, Something about the lyrics of, I've got a burning desire, I'm on fire. Something like that, I don't know. Um, but jumping into this Libra, what they are showing me, yes, they are definitely fired up and ready to go. They are making some type of move here for themselves, and they're showing up quite adamant about that as well. There's an energy of kind of <laughs> confidence, but also getting things done. They're showing up very dedicated and committed to something here. At the same time, they're also kind of waiting to see what turns out. Um, that being said, they are kind of getting to this point of having to kind of assess their overall situation completely and make some sort of decision about what they truly want to do. Um, I feel like they're kind of just on their path, on their journey, but they're also kind of taking care of things along the way. It also kind of formulating things along the way as well. It's kind of like, it feels like they're in action, like continuously in action, always busy, always doing something, um, always putting something together, always coming up with some type of vision of what they want to manifest. Here's the thing. There is some type of collaborative energy here between the two of you about some possible new beginning or possible new financial endeavor. I don't know exactly know what that is, but whatever their vision is, you are definitely a part of it somehow. So let's go ahead and jump into clarifiers. Okay. Interesting. Let's see. Ooh. Yeah, there, I'll say this. They're on the move, but they're also saying, oh, geez, it's, um, hmm. they're having to push through the anxiety, push through the stress, push through the fear. It's about work. It's about work. They're like, I gotta, I gotta make a move. I, gotta, I have to do something here. And they're like, I can't drop this. I'm not going to drop work. I'm definitely going to put in effort. <laughs> it's just an energy of, okay, I, I got to do this. I got to do what I got to do. Let's, let's go. Mm. There's that, yeah, I was going to say, there's that questioning of one's own confidence and abilities. Yeah, that's, like I said, that they're showing up confident and fired up and ready to go and get things done and taken care of. But when they kind of stop to consider where their emotions are at, it's like, okay, but what next? What's that next step? A little, a little bit uncertain there emotionally. Wow. Wow. They're going to go through it anyways, though. <laughs> wow. That's pretty crazy. I feel like they're working through those thoughts and those emotions. They are. They're kind of like saying, nope, action, action and work and effort are going to take me there. It doesn't matter in a sense 
what I'm thinking or what I'm feeling at the moment, they're going to push through it. And ultimately what they're saying is in order for me to lean fully into this, I got to lean fully into this and kind of put my thoughts aside and put my emotions aside and get something done. <laughs> so kind of what they're saying is it's not a matter of what I think. It's not a matter of what I feel. Something needs to be done, whatever that is. Mmm, jeez, 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 jeez. But waiting, jeez, but waiting to figure out what that is is what's getting to them. Even after they lean into this, it still goes back to the difficulty or the challenge or the complication in making something work. Ooh, the both of you are showing up fiery. Hmm, they might be making a decision about you, Libra. They're viewing you the same way you're viewing them. This is, like I said, fiery. There's a lot of fire here. And yeah, they're like, mm, let me consider everything I've got going on for myself, but let me also consider Libra. Because um, <laughs> it's like, they're ultimately telling me like, I've got so much going on for myself and I know you're there, Libra, but I got to kind of take care of all this first. And then... Unless they're coming to you to kind of help with all this. Ooh, I believe so. Yeah. They still believe in their vision. Nice. Nice. I like that. They still believe in it. They still believe in everything. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. <laughs> wow. This is... This <laughs> Spooky ooky. Spooky ooky. Um the hmm. Oh my gosh, that is that is um how do I say that? This is someone this is like high school or elementary school or middle school, whichever school. School. It feels like school. The the, the, the connection between the two of you is going so well that there might actually be new love forming between the two of you. But whatever this new love is, they're ultimately saying like, there is love there, but I'm gonna kind of keep my emotional distance. Unless the two of you are working on something financially together where it's like, is this it? Is this something here between us and financially? Or is it not? Is it not? Interesting, which one is it? I wanna know. And they're also saying, wait, <laughs> they just told me to wait. It's like, wait, you'll, you'll find out. Just wait. But I kind of feel like at the same time, they're buying their time. Go figure. Um, of course, if you are dealing with anyone, Libra, we do have Cancer, Scorpio, Virgo, Gemini, Aquarius, and Sagittarius. Goodbye. <laughs>